Hey, what's up, you guys? So today I wanted to talk about the 335i. So lately I've been just driving around and I notice a lot of 335s and I guess it's becoming more popular now. So, which is good, I guess, but I just wanted to see if I could make a video showing you guys what's the best $1,000 you could spend on the car to make it not just run better, but also perform better. So just a quick little background. I have a 335i that I've owned for about seven years now shy of seven years been through a lot with that car good and bad and yeah i want to share some of my experiences and what i wish i would have done within a year that i bought the car so for this we're going to put a budget of one thousand dollars it's not a lot but hopefully this helps a lot of people in case you don't have a lot and you want to try to mod them and get the best out of it so as we know the n54 engine is a powerful engine but it does have a lot of flaws which honestly could be addressed from not a lot of money and hopefully with these things that i'm going to be talking about they could just potentially help you get those issues out of the way and yeah without further ado let's get started so this one's going to cost you ten dollars and it is the oil filter housing gasket it's a pretty long name but it serves a purpose uh so your engine and the oil filter housing <laughs> uh they come together right and there's a little gasket that goes in between this gasket tends to go old and start like oil start start to have some leaking oil and when that happens um, it could slip into the belt. A lot of cars, that's not a big deal. But this car, when that happens, it could potentially just cause your belt to slip. And these cars have some issues that if the belt slips, it could go inside the crank and yeah, inside the engine. So we know what this sounds like. You have to open up the engine. It's happened to me before and clean it up. And it's kind of a chaos having to drop your stuff frame. And it's just too much. And $10 could really prevent you all those headaches and I think it's one of the first things you have to do once you buy your car. Following with that statement, uh, the serpentine belt, it's also one of the causes of the same issue. So if you have a worn out belt, you could be slipping your belt without knowing. And yeah, it's only gonna cost you $25. So if you get a, I think Continental, it's like 25 on Amazon as well. So yeah, it's not that much, but it could prevent you thousands of potential dollars just to be wasted on something that could be prevented for $25, mind blowing. So the next one's worth about $10. It's called the water hose fitting. That's what they call it. I'm not sure if that's the actual name, but it's this pretty much this part that goes in front of a hose that it's made out of plastic. So from time to time, you know, plastic gets old and it could break. And yeah, pretty much this $10 is for a replacement that's gonna be made out of metal or aluminum or and just something that's harder than plastic. And yeah, that's gonna prevent you from it licking and leaving you stranded. It's one of those things that will break. So if you have one or just leave a spare in the back, it'll be so helpful. The next one is $15 and it's the valve cover gasket. Uh, this car has a lot of issues with oil leakage and this one's one of them that is pretty common. And what tends to happen is by the exhaust side, there's leakage and since the engine is kind of tilted, it just starts leaking from that side. But also there is leakage inside, like in the middle where the spark plugs go and if that happens you're gonna start getting a lot of misfires and you might think it might be other more severe things but it's just the gasket and yeah it helps to do maintenance and i think for 15 dollars honestly it's well worth so the next one's gonna be a k plus it can cable this one runs for about 10 to 15 dollars it's not that bad honestly but um yeah so for this cable you need software and there's a guy on youtube here that shows you how to install that software for free i'm gonna post the link somewhere and yeah it's just really helpful in case you ever have any issues with your car it's a lot easier to scan it with the right tools and know what's wrong with your car but um yeah it's just always good to have it just in case your car breaks down which i hope it doesn't but yeah and one of those things too is clean the engine bay this cars do tend to leak oil like i said or have issues but when you have your clean engine bay it's just going to help you a lot to in the future if you're trying to diagnose uh, anything you know just if you have an oil leak it's easier to track down once everything's clean and you see the oil dripping from somewhere and it's just something that's been helping me when i ever have issues and yeah i mean it's free so come on and here comes the good part i know you've been wanting to mod your car i know this so let's start with the performance now so the first mod is going to run you from 200 to like 450 dollars it's going to be a jb4 in my opinion that's the best one you can choose mhd or cob if you like but i think jb4 is the best because once you have it on you can switch maps on the go so if you're driving switch your maps switch off from meth to e85 to auto tuning to stock and it's just a lot of stuff you could do with it you could hijack your fuel gauge to make it a boost gauge and it's just a lot of stuff and honestly if you don't like it at the end of the day it's not just like a tune where you're you spend your money that's it if you don't like it you sell it and you make your money back 
they're always on people are always selling these because they um i guess there's a lot of demand for it and once you sell the car you know you have no use for it so i feel it's one of those things that invest in it and you're not gonna lose a lot of money once you sell it especially if you get it used also keep in mind that if you do have jb4 you're able to buy an app and also buy a cable that's gonna plug in from your phone to your jb4 and that's gonna help you if you want to monitor your boost or anything on your car pretty much that the jb4 is controlling and also you're able to see codes so it's easier you know instead of having to buy any special tools it's just a lot easier to have it on your phone so next mod is about a hundred dollars it's gonna be a charge pipe it's one of those things that when you start pushing higher boost it's gonna break no matter what it's made out of plastic so when you buy an aftermarket one that's gonna be hopefully made out of metal uh it's gonna be helpful and if it does come with a blow up valve it's gonna sound a lot nicer so win-win so the next one might be a little intimidating but it's gonna be a modified wobble 450 to fit in your stock uh low pressure fuel pump this one is more of a diy project that you could do and there's a lot of babies for it so it's honestly it's not that hard and the pump costs you about a hundred dollars and with this pump you could pretty much run uh 50 e85 and you know like we know e85 is easier for higher horsepower and it's just one of those things that if you have the gut you know it's not too hard like i said just do it it's worth it honestly every single bit the more gas we know the more horsepower so the next one's gonna be the spark plugs they cost about a hundred dollars honestly it's one of those things that a lot of people leave behind but without some good colder spark plugs you're gonna keep on getting misfires and just your car's gonna run better so why not if you want to see how to do that i made a video before it's gonna be right here somewhere so you do have to get a five dollar tool it's a thinner socket for the spark plugs it has a little like magnet and stuff and um yeah it, it's just easier because it's thinner so it goes in perfectly and yeah one of those things that you need so it's yeah it's five bucks so get it so the next one's gonna be a dual cone intake uh there's a lot of brands i found this one that was 70 dollars. there's a few that are 100 and then some 100 and something honestly i think they're all the same thing but yeah it, this one's gonna increase horsepower and it's gonna look better and the sound is just priceless you're gonna hear your blow valve louder your turbo spooling louder it's one of those things that you must get so next one's gonna be downpipes this one runs from 100 to 120 dollars it's really cheap honestly i was impressed when i saw the price when i bought mine before they were like 300 dollars so yeah it's been a while and now they're just going down i feel like it's one of those things that maybe the wheels could go out but like if you get a cheap one it's not gonna make a huge difference in performance unless you start getting exhaust leaks yeah so the downpipe is going to be one of those things that is going to increase a lot of horsepower and honestly it makes your car sound a lot better and it's a must for 120 just come on you can't beat it so yeah guys i think that's pretty much it i know i forgot a bunch of stuff but i'm gonna try to do other videos so like people that are getting into the 335 they could just hopefully start off in the right foot and yeah guys that's pretty much it if you have any questions leave them down below and i'll be more than happy to answer them i'm also going to do tutorials if you guys have any issues with or just wondering any tutorial i've done a lot on this car so i just haven't recorded most of it but uh yeah i'm really familiar with this car and yeah if you have any questions leave them down below and i'll be more than happy to answer them see you all in the next one and take care bye bye